button because why not so basically today is going to be a different type of video that I've never made before and I've actually never seen on YouTube before but I thought it would be really cool to make and as you can tell by the title of this video I am going through my mom's old jeans if you're into fashion and you know what's trending right now you've probably heard of the term mom jeans last week I was shopping with my mom and we were at Urban Outfitters and I pointed out a pair of mom jeans on the mannequin and I was telling her how I really wanted to get a pair but they were like $80 it's like what? And she was telling me, oh, I wore those all the time when I was your age. And she told me that she still had some in her closet. And then I wake up one morning and there's a whole pile of jeans. Some of them are super vintage. And I thought it'd be cool to make a video of me trying them on, seeing which ones I like and which ones I don't like. Yeah, honestly, if you're into that style of mom jeans, instead of going out and buying like an $80 pair, just ask your mom if she has some of hers left. It will save you a lot of money and it will be real vintage mom jeans. Let me just show you the whole pile that I have. Okay, Ooh. Jeans are actually really heavy. These are all of the jeans that my mom wore when she was my age. And I'll put some pictures here of what my mom looked like. We kind of look the same, I think. And I'm just gonna jump right into it because I hate long intros and I feel like this has been a very long intro. So I'm gonna let you guys know the brand names of these jeans. Or if I can find like the brand online or a similar design, I will try my best to have everything linked down below, you know, if it still exists. So the first one here I have is from Joe Fresh. So that's not super, super old, but they are boot cut jeans. Like, so. These like you can still find, they're not exactly mom jeans and they're flared at the bottom. They're a bit too big for me, especially like around the butt. Yeah, these are not going to keep. Next pair here is from Blue Notes Jeans where they are relaxed low rise. This is like the original Blue Notes. They are like a mom jean style and there's buttons in the inside but they cover up once you button them which is weird to me. Why not just put like a zipper if you can't see anyways. But these fit pretty well. They're a bit big around the waist because my mom was bigger than I was, so just a bit. So this would have to be styled with a belt. I rolled up the bottoms because they were a bit too long, which I love the look of rolled up jeans at the bottom. These I'm going to keep because they are your today's mom jeans. Oh my gosh, okay, these jeans here, I don't know if you've watched it, but there's this movie called The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and I don't know why, but these just give me those vibes. This is by Fragile Blue Jeans. It's called a high heel bell. Is that the style? Okay. Flowers here and they are very flowy at the bottom. I feel like this would be perfect if you're going for like an 80s look for like Halloween or something. They're really cute but I can't see myself like wearing them to school or anything. So yeah, these I'm not gonna keep. This pair here, my mom had a whole story about these jeans right here is the most she's ever spent on jeans in her whole entire life and I'm pretty sure it was $85 and it's from Europe. So she said there's this store she used to go to that sold clothes from Europe and these were like the jeans to have. The brand is called Chick. Cheek? I don't even know what that says. Le Chick by World Pepe for service. And these are my favorite pair out of all of these. I love these so much. They're like true Maji vintage, you know? Yeah, I roll them again at the bottom. They're a bit tight around the crotch, but you know, I can live with that for how good these look. And I will be keeping these for sure. I love these so much. Thanks, Mom, for spending $85 so I could save $85. Next pair of jeans here are by the brand Jag Jeans. These are flare style. And again, you know, I don't know what was so cool about this. I kind of like the look. I'm going for like an 80s vibe, but at the same time, it's like I wouldn't wear that to school. So yeah, these I'm not keeping. Look at this part right here at the back. It just makes a V. Like, why? Like that could be like your butt crack showing right there. This little V. Like, why? I don't understand. 
These are from American Eagle. We still have that store today. These I'm keeping, they're really similar to the other ones. They're just a bit bigger and a bit baggier. Again, I'd most likely need a belt because small people problems. The next pair here is by Denim Dynamite. I've never heard that before. They're a bit flared at the bottom. Yeah, I'm not keeping these just because they don't fit at all. So we're just gonna move on. Next pair of jeans is by the brand Una, uh, Union Bay. Yeah, these aren't even jeans. Well, it's jeans, but they're not pants. This is a skirt. I don't know, I have mixed feelings about this skirt. It's a long denim skirt, and the slit is right at the back. It's like not at the side. I've never seen something like this in my whole life, and that's kind of why I sort of want to keep it. I'll probably keep it in my closet, but I don't know if I'll ever wear it. Next pair, these are Old Navy. Wow. We still have Old Navy here. Almost kind of capri. Like, I think it went up to, like, my shin. If I roll them up more, like, I can make them capris. Very little distressed here. A few of these jeans, I want to distress myself and make them a bit ripped and more edgy. If you'd like to see a video of me cutting my jeans and making them more distressed and stuff, then let me know in the comments and I'll do it. These I will be keeping. The next pair of jeans is by the brand Lee Platinum Label, and apparently they're perfect fit skinny jeans, but they don't fit me perfectly at all. So I'm not keeping them, and I'm not gonna keep talking about them. This is the very last thing, but it's not pants. It's a dress, and you do not see jean dresses anymore. Guess what brand this one is? <laughs> Guess! No, really, guess! I used to do that when I was a kid. I had this vest from Guess. When people asked me where it was from, I said guess, and they'd keep guessing. <laughs> I think it's really cute, and I'm gonna keep it. Shout out to my mom for giving me all her jeans. That is the end of my video, and if you enjoyed, please do give it a big, 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 big thumbs up. If you're into mom jeans or anything like old school style, 80s, 90s, depending on how old your parents are, honestly just ask your mom or dad if they kept anything from their routines. And if you guys want to see more like fashion type videos or makeup or honestly anything you want to see, let me know in the comments and I'll probably do it. As long as it, you know, it doesn't endanger my life. If you've watched all the way to this point, thank you so much. And thank you if you are already subscribed. But if you're not, why aren't you by this point? You know, just hit it. This is just a quick side note for anyone who's watching my travel vlogs. I have a bunch of like back to school video ideas so those vlogs are just like on hold so those will come out eventually just not right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! This is my first time wearing a choker and I kind of feel like I'm choking. Oh I just realized I just mixed all the ones that I'm keeping and I'm not keeping but I'm just gonna um I need to clean up.